guard retention against the Toriando pass. So one big problem we can have is when our opponent grabs both our legs, runs to the side and passes around our legs into side control. Often when our opponent approaches our guard, he will try to establish control over both legs. He will grab at the ankles or on the pants. Then he will transition to the side and push the legs out of the way. Then he can drop his weight in, placing his knee on the floor and his shoulder on your chest. Then to consolidate the pin, he'll grab your head and establish the side control. To avoid our opponent getting control over our legs, we must engage in leg pummeling. So we continually circle the legs and move constantly to re-center ourselves towards our opponent, to stop them getting out to our side. The more they get out to our side, the more vulnerable we are for the pass. The objective of the guard retention game is to develop fluency in reading and reacting to the common scenarios with the Toriando pass. First, set the timer for one to two minutes. Start with no grips. The top player should try to attempt to bring the bottom player's legs under control while moving around the legs. Allow time for the bottom player to recover. If the top player does bring the bottom player's legs under control and they become stuck, then just reset the position and begin again. The bottom player should just try to defend. No sweeps, no submissions, just defense by re-pummeling the legs and squaring up each time. By doing so, you will develop fluency in their skills and you'll be able to read and react to the game much, much better. Take turns with your partner as you practice the drill and gradually increase the intensity. But it's very important to start slowly as this will help develop the skills much more effectively. The first pass we have to contend with is the basic Toriando pass, where our opponent passes around our legs, drops to the floor, gets his head control and stabilises the side control. So right now we would miss the chance to leg pummel. Our opponent controlled our legs and runs to the side. So we must frame on the shoulder and bicep position. As they move to the side, I must be ready, frame the shoulder and bicep while turning towards my opponent. I can't get turned away or I will lose position. So we make sure we track the shoulders because we don't know which side that our opponent will go. He may go to the left or to the right. He's gonna to try to uh, trick us and distract us a little bit to gain the initiative. So it's very important that we track very well. The frame provides two very important functions. The first of which is blocking the shoulder from dropping down onto your chest, keeping distance between you and your opponent. The second of which, it stops your opponent from being able to grab your head. Now you will have time to recover and re-establish your guard. And of course, be very sure to keep your knees very close to your elbows. Don't let your opponent get inside that vital elbow knee space must fight to keep that space at all costs. If you lose it, you're going to end up in the side control. Another common strategy for the Toriando passer is the folding style pass, where the passer pushes your legs to one side and applies a knee on belly, or leg drag style pass. This approach is an excellent way to defeat the framing defense. However, we do have an answer for that. For every problem, we can always find a solution. To defend against the folding style passes, we need an alternative style of frame. So as our opponent runs to the side, now they try to push our legs over to the side, we need to block by posting against our own thigh. So on the outside, we frame against our knee and we make sure that our opponent can't fold our hips to the side. As the passer moves to the side, we post against the arm this will help us manage distance between us and our opponent and give us space to re-pummel. It also helps us to defend the vital elbow knee space. The arm post also serves as a prevention of head control, should our opponent choose to release the leg and reach for the head. 
Together with the arm post, we will use the thigh frame to stop the hips being folded to the side. Ensure to keep your knees close to your chest and then re-pummel the legs as you re-centre. Try to circle the bottom leg under the arm and point the toes up. This will help to stop the passer quickly changing direction to pass to the other side and give the bottom player ample time to set a controlling grip. Once the bottom player has a strong grip, they can now establish a guard position where they can initiate attacks. There's the Toriando combo pass, so the passer comes in on one side and switches quickly to the full the hips and get to the other side. So he grabs the pants, jumps around the legs, I block and post, and then he switches crafty and gets the leg drag. Now let's look at defend, we're gonna block, he switches to the other side, I'm ready with the tie block, he can't fold my hips and I loop the feet back inside. He comes again, he switches to the side, I block the shoulder, he goes to try and get to the other side but I'm too quick with my thigh frame and I recompose the guard. Once again, watch as he moves, I track the arms, block, he switches to the other side and I'm ready to recover my guard. Practice this drill as much as possible and make it second nature. <laughs> 